then receives strange delivery. Inside is a frowning penguin. Soon the penguin is moving. Popper picks up the penguin. The penguin pulls a poop on Popper. Popper puts the penguin in the bathtub. He pours ice on it. The penguin jumped onto the sink and turned on the faucet. I now the tub is overflowing. The penguin is swimming in it. Popper opens the bathroom door. Popper is swept over the edge. The penguin's ass is facing Popper. Popper is a little turned off by the penguin. The next day, the penguin's cries woke Popper up. Popper kicked the penguin out of his room. It looked at the vase in the hallway and had an idea. He threw the penguin over the water as Popper walked downstairs. He was stopped by a security guard. He told Popper to take the penguin with him. At that moment, the doorbell rang. Popper received another box. As Popper was about to put the penguins in the box, more penguins came out of the box. The noise in Popper's house was getting worse and worse. Popper couldn't sleep because of the noise. The alarm went off and Popper was surrounded by penguins. Popper is ready for breakfast. One penguin tweaks the bottle. Another penguin clawed at Popper's leg. He came into the living room and found that the penguins had learned it to use the remote control. They turned on the TV and watched intently. The kids were surprised to see the penguin. Popper took the penguin and the kids to the park. A soccer ball was kicked at them. Popper and the penguin played a game of soccer. The penguin had a great time with them. One day, they noticed that the penguin was standing still. It turned out that the penguin had laid an egg. In order to give the penguin a good environment, they created an ice world in their house. Popper stood by the penguin's egg every day. The penguin finally hatched a chick. That day, the inspectors came to the house. They took the penguin away. Pop and the kids went to the zoo. They found that the penguin was not at the zoo. The staff said the penguins had been sent away. Copert something in the cabinet. They opened the locker and there is the penguin. The staff tried to lure the penguin back with dried fish. At that moment Popper closes the door and the staff is inside. Popper takes the penguin and leaves. Man walks down the street with six penguins. Turns out they were a gift from his father. Popper started eating with the penguins. He walks the penguins down the street and plays with them. Popper started looking up how to train penguins on the computer. He taught the penguins to talk. He trained the penguin to go to the bathroom. He took the penguins dancing with him. One day, Popper was getting ready for a dance. He gets a nanny to watch the penguins. He instructed the nanny to show the penguins a black and white movie. When the nanny sat her down, she hit the remote control. A seal appeared on the screen. The penguin was terrified. The nanny leaves the room. The penguin opened the door and walked out. They followed Popper sent down the street. Popper was at a ball, talking business, and then the penguin came to the place where Popper's ball was being held. Popper goes into the elevator and tries to avoid them. The penguin turns around and hits an ice bucket. They slipped and slid on the icy water. They made a mess of the party. Angry, Popper took the penguin and left the party. That day, Popper discovered that the penguin had hatched an egg. He started trying all sorts of things to hatch the egg. He set up a tent and kept watch. At night, he put his hands over the egg and hoped to see it hatch. The next day, he called the vet, who shook his head. He agreed to let the zoo take the penguins away, so that they could grow up in the right environment. At night, Papa looked at pictures of the penguins and thought about them. That day, he found a letter under the sofa. His father said the penguins were a precious animal. Papa decided to bring the penguins back.